Hi everyone, Omeza here again. Today we're going to be looking at this particular Excel dashboard that is very more dynamic that you would want to know how to create. Now we can now hide our slicers. Can you see that? Now here is my slicers. I can actually place my slicers on any of these and you'll see dynamically it actually switch and give you the kind of view you really want. So you can hide your slicer from viewers. Now this is what we have, right? Now I can change from line chart to a column chart if I don't really understand what this is all about. That means if you have a client that you work with that you would like, okay, he should or she should actually change choose from line chart to a column chart wherever it is you can actually make it dynamically like this now if you look at what we are seeing right here this is the total sales of 2020 and now if we want to see the top three months of that particular year when we click this is what it's going to give to what the top three months of this year and we are seeing the top three months right here as well if i switch just like this i'm seeing the whole i can actually get to see the same view now we are having the same view right now can you look at how dynamic this could actually be? We will create something like this from the scratch. If you have not been a subscriber on my YouTube channel, you might actually avail yourself the opportunity of subscribing to my channel just to have a wonderful tutorial just like this. Now here are my filters. Now we are showing order, which is the orders. This is the max order placed for the whole year. Now if I want to see it by revenue, like this is the sales, what you have right here is that it's going to have the sale change. Now you can see. So we, can want to see, we might want to see this based on a column chart. Now this is what it is. If we want to see it based on profit, we can get to see it based on profit. And if we change our line chart, the same thing is going to display right here. So right now we, can want, we might want to see it by product, we can click on product A and what we have is dynamically going to change. And now this is the regional view that we actually see right here. So we would create this from the scratch. I'm going to show you how to do this from the scratch. So what are you waiting for? You can now start watching as we create a long. Click anywhere from here or here. You're going to see a particular card actually up here. Just click and start learning those dashboard I actually have right here for you. I have this second dashboard that you can actually take a look at how we actually created it. That actually gives us an alert about what is happening at the back end of this dashboard and it has this particular search where you can actually search for customers and anytime you don't make a search everything just gets appears so i will save the opportunity today to hit the subscribe button and start learning from the scratch all right thanks for watching i will see you in the next tutorial